what is it the Big Brother winners and failed music career? Is the money cost or are they just not talented enough? Today we're talking about the Big Brother winners that have ventured into the music industry and have flopped badly. My name is Shidora Jamaica and you're watching Premium Times Podcast. So today I have not just any regular regular guest, I have a music critic, I have music lovers. See, one of my guests today can look at you and tell you they're going to have a bright future in music. Well, enough with the flat train, let them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is George Gardner. Um, I'm a former blogger. Once a blogger, always a blogger. Music blogger. Blogged with Jaguda for a long time. And I'm here to speak about music business. Hello, my name is Ola Yinka Lawal. I'm a former ANR and um, I think I have a little knowledge on the Nigerian music industry. Pleasure to be here. Mm-hmm. We're happy to have you here. We're happy to have you here. So first of all, before we dive in, do you agree with me when I say that Big Brother winners, let me count at least three of them now that have uh-huh. ventured into the music industry after their winning. Um, if he link on white money, do you agree with me when I say they have flopped in the music industry, or is it just my opinion? Uh, they have flopped woefully. Why do you say so? Why do you say so? Well, I for me personally, I think, um, we need okay, let's try to measure what success in the music industry is. Mm-hmm. Well, we're largely going to classify MI, Davido, Whiskey, Burner Boy, mm-hmm. and the new likes of um, Rema, you know. Um, um or well, Charlie Poppy. Mm, yeah. Star. Barrier Star. Those are success people who are already successful in the music industry. Mm. Now we're speaking of we're speaking of Efe, White Money and Lekon. Where are they now? Name one Efe music, you know. I don't really know. Uh, white money. Sense senseless. Lekon. Right. So I agree. They failed. Mm-hmm. So in the in the music industry, there's A class, I think, I believe. There's B mm-hmm. class and there's C class. A class being the names that you mentioned earlier. C are also the ones that are coming up or the ones that are not doing too bad. At least that have been in the industry for years. Mm-hmm. C can be classified as the new ones, new kids coming up that has not really, you know, sh- sh- you know moved the industry but at least we can hear some of their songs and we recognize some of their songs those three guys you mentioned are not in a b c maybe they're in f class or something like that mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we all we're all on the same thing when i say you've had like a very flopped music career oh, of course yeah okay. of course so moving on why do you think why do you think that um these winners struggle to make it in the music industry despite their fame because mm. i mean they came, they came out of big they want big brother mm. so despite their fame and the amount of money or is the money mm. excess is it too much money mm. it? okay so from, from what i think should be some of the reasons mm. i want to believe that there's no structure mm-hmm. to be successful in the music industry for starters mm. so you can look at structure in different ways can look at structure as the platform that the BBA has given the BBN has given them. Mm-hmm. But when I mean structure, I think that to be successful in the music industry, you need some sort of structure, some sort of um, you know, ANR, PR, um, manager, functional people who also have idea of what is going on in the music industry and how to navigate the industry. They don't have it for starters. One. Mm-hmm. Secondly, I think that before you can be successful in this music industry, you need to have the talent. Ah, so you think they like three of them like talent? Oh, white money doesn't have talent <laughs> for starters. Okay. Efe has started because at some, you know, with music, I think that music also has to do with just like every other thing. When you do it consistently over time, mm-hmm. you keep getting better. Mm-hmm. Efe is just starting to be good now. I mean, if he won since how many years ago? But he just really started after the. I show. want to believe okay, he might he might show. have been doing it. Okay, okay. But okay, you okay. know, you can always be Johnson. Sure, you get. But after yeah. that, when you, when he had made it, okay, let me see how I can do this music thing. Now that I have the platform and I have the, the money, money mm. that she just started. She just got serious. Okay. Yeah. And since that time till now, um, that's has been like how many years now? So he's just started to be good. Mm-hmm. So maybe if you put FA in the Big Brother house now and it means now, 
Mm. Maybe. Like, yeah. Maybe. Because you need time. You need to. So to cut this short. Yeah. So 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 I I like I like the structure parts. Mm. Yeah. So structure. Whenever he whenever he, he says structure, he reminds me of the Labour Party and the obedience people. Anyways, mm. that's <laughs> that, that, that's that's another discussion. But yes, um, structure. I agree. But also most important talent, you know, like without talent. Uh, so speaking, when you said if he just started, no, I think if he started a long time ago, you know, he said a long time he had he had a couple of EPs, you know. But oh, yeah, then he said the brother. Yes, part. yes, yes. He started a long time ago. And can I can I just interrupt? You? Yes, there's something I said before everything. I said Johnson. <laughs> So you can continue. Well, we'll we, after this podcast, so you are saying, so you we'll, are saying that before he entered the like, he was Josie. Like, that's what I say. Well, we we'll analyze that's some that's of his music <laughs> after this, <laughs> then we we'll conclude, come to a conclusion. <laughs> he was really Josie. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't, uh, you know, but <laughs> we we'll analyze and, but because really I had, I, I, I really felt like if he having the platform of Big Brother should be easy i don't know what happened most likely we can try to get him on the show as well so he could tell his own side of the story mm -hmm. you know so i don't know what happened in the background but leaving big brother niger mm -hmm. that platform and moving on i don't know what happens it seems like there's always a disconnect mm -hmm. between the success and the music but clearly it's not business as usual mm -hmm. You just really cannot just win Big Brother and assume that you jump into the music industry. And it's a lot of hard work. Mm. So would you, say, would you say that um, it's very difficult for um, CD stars to break in into the music industry? Like any regular upcoming artist, okay, but like for TV stars that already have the fame, yeah. like these winners now, are you saying like it's difficult for them to break into the music industry, like make it there? So I'm going to use this guy um nas boy mm. he's a skit mm, maker yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. he's had like three tracks if i'm not wrong the recent one was with mi he featured mi and vector mm. and i think that guy is just an outlier really because the three tracks he has released so far like they are nice mm. Then again, I think we're going back to the talent thing. Yes. Not my words. So please land. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're focusing on only Ife. Okay, let's look at Ife. No, 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 not Ife. No. Okay. Talent, no. yes. Please, oh, I, I, about, talent. Sorry. Hmm. You, you were talking about this other guy, the comedian, yeah? Yes. So, I don't, I don't think you landed. Mm. Did you? <laughs> land. <laughs> land, please, land. Let's, let's hear what you have. Can I, can I off my mic? <laughs> Let me okay. off my mic. Yes. <laughs> because I, if he has some talent, Lincoln has some talent. Mm. I think white money should not even be in this. Yeah. He's, white money was sorry, but stop he's, it. He's talentless. So it wasn't it, wasn't, it, wasn't cooking, white con you? Yeah, he was one that cooks. Yeah. yeah. No, he should, not, he should focus on Hollywood. Yeah, he should be in Hollywood. He'll, he'll be good in Hollywood. Yes, he but should be in Hollywood. Because well. it's a joke. No, like it's cooking. Joke. Cooking, most likely. Is, he can, he, yeah, it's fine. But is he going to be a chef? That's it now. That's like a brand now. Yeah, yeah, I think it does. I don't know. I think it does. I think, I think after, after Big Brother House, I stopped following. But I think he should. Nollywood will be fine. The village setting. Or yeah. That yeah, rich yeah. Uh, evil man in the castle. <laughs> Uh, you can also tap into some Yule Doche vibes of oh being a ritualist <laughs> in the movies. So, but please. Money, sorry, but you just have to stop. You need to be uh, I, I agree. I agree. You need to be yes, I agree. Lincoln was doing very well before he entered inside the movie. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, from what personally, at some, at some point, I stopped following. You know, life mm -hmm. happens. But that, as I said, if he has the talent, Lincoln has the talent where the disconnect is i don't know most likely the structure he's speaking to mm. and it's music is not business as usual really mm -hmm. it's now very very difficult a lot of money a lot of time a lot of sacrifice so i think these guys should tell their stories and where is lay concept really I don't know. He's somewhere. Wow. The last time we heard of him, hmm. I think last last la I said last week or so, he came and he was dragging. Who was the guy he did nobody with? 
DJ something. Nobody Let really exists. He has minds to be dragging someone. Somebody no, did not pay somebody. I don't know it's if it's the one that did pay DJ Neptune. Ah. DJ Neptune did not pay. That was the last time I heard from So him. he's uh, broke? <laughs> Is he broke now? That's what uh, I <laughs> So, never tell. so anyways, thank you Sometimes, guys. Sometimes let me let me let me just also in the music industry, I think you require a lot of money to blossom. Hmm. The music industry. So sixty million is not and enough money. As at the time, it's not. It's, I don't think it's enough. Million. It's not. No. Do you it's think not. that others uh, others uh, music artists, all these upcoming that actually came up from started from nothing and now they are dead? Do you think you, you will be shocked sure. to be exceptional to? Do you know this girl Queen Maddie? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think she had that amount of money starting up? So she is this? I, I think it's the structure. Just say TikTok. Yeah, to no, but and but she blew. okay. So, so now she has like this thing with Joe Boy and the likes of them. So would you say she had that amount of money? I don't think. But you, okay, you also need to understand the evolution, like the way times have changed. I think it's more it's easier to blow now than mm-hmm. those times because those times of these guys are like five years ago or probably you know thereabouts. Mm-hmm. So I think that now it is easier for you to blow now than before because there are many platforms where you can blow. Like mm. the TikToks, like mm. even even the Twitter, um, and all the streaming platforms. Mm. So if you are really good, I think you have what it takes. You can if your sound is good enough, people will pick it. People but also, it. also, I think yeah. you'll be shocked that sixty million is not really oh, no, it, enough. Cause you how much they spend on music videos. And I likes. I personally will not it's know who backs them up. True. But let's take True. the likes of Rema. For Rema to get where he is, sixty True. million has to be shit money. Mm-hmm. to get to where he is mm-hmm. so yeah. most likely and it, it boils out to the structure he's speaking about yeah. so who your AI, AR and r guys your pr it's a whole lot of work 60 million as as that they're not going to leave the big brother house and take everything they give you to, to, to draw it to you had needs before you entered the big brother house. Mm-hmm. Aside, mm-hmm. Those mm-hmm. 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 aside mm-hmm. is what if you feel like you don't have the talent enough to blow we mm-hmm. invest all in the I'm so sorry, I have to cut you guys short. We are going on a quick break. You guys know how interesting this has been. When we come back, we have more interesting aspects of diving. Stay tuned. You're watching Korean Time Podcast. Welcome back to Korean Times Podcast. My name is Chidora Jamaica and I'm your host. Before we went on our short break, we were talking about why Big Brother winners are, make, are not making it in the music industry. I'm here with Mr. Kajuna and Mr. Olayinka. So, you guys, when uh, before, we had to, before we had to go on the break, you guys talked about how um, these winners, like how they have like, a bad career and everything. So, I'm like, my question now is, what's key, what key mistakes do you think they did wrong. Like, where did you think they went wrong? And what advice, if you had to give them an advice, what way do you think they would have gone about it after winning and they want to, like, eventually into the music industry? How would they have gone about it? Do you understand my question? Yeah, I, I, I do understand the question, but because I'm not up close and personal with them, mm. I most likely will not be right but, about... The okay, kind I just of say like, oh, they make. not okay, not that if you are close with them. If you yeah. have to just give an advice, like someone that just won a large amount of money and he's entering the music industry, what wow. would you tell him? Or oh, ha, let's not use. Well, it's difficult though. <coughs> it's because difficult. you have, let's say, sixty million, mm. and you're going into the music industry. I don't know, cause I I feel like a lot of them prosper in sitcoms, mm-hmm. in the movie, mm-hmm. Nollywood industry. And I think we have Toby Bakari, we have um, the Aolo, mm-hmm. the, yeah, we have Bisola. Um, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I, somehow it feels like it's natural for them to move into the industry right from when they are out. Because there's a lot of uncertainty in the music business so you could spend all the money you could you could even have the talent and still not make it i mean jesse jags is a perfect example of one music artist that has a lot of talent but am i i think am i was more successful than i don't know uh, that i won't speak to those things but you could also have the talent and not even make it so my advice really may not fly mm. i won't lie but 
I just feel like it's easier for them to move into the movie industry. Than the music. Than the music so industry. if you're calling is no acting movie now, what's Go into calling? business, go into farming. So at the end of the day, so the bottom advising, line. You're advising them not to go big brother winners should not go into music industry at all. Whether you have the talent, you have the money. Well, you can do A and B testing. Mm. You can test in the music industry and test in the. Now you just spend your money now because you put money that, here, put money mm, there. That's why it's testing. Do you put too much money in the movie industry if you are going to be but, a platform? So you won't put so much because you're a big brother winner. Mm. And if you can act, mm. you know. Most producers want to use you. Okay, that's true. Let's that's let's true. assume. Let's assume that you're good. Yes. Yeah. So it's also that's a plus true. for the movie mm. because your yeah, big brother will now is acting maybe a blockbuster. Yeah. So are you going to spend any much money? No, really. So A and B testing works. So how mm -hmm. about the B testing? So if they want to go into music, how should they? Should they just release an EP or a single? Yes, yeah, release and let's see how far it goes. Because Lincoln, when he came out and he did that, this came with nobody. Sorry. Mm. When the, he did the remix with um, DJ Neptune, was it Neptune? Mm, the Nobody that, remix. Yeah, DJ Neptune sang the Nobody, yeah. and he came out and he did the remix. I think that song did very, very well. Yeah. We're like, <laughs> sorry, I think that song did very, very well. Mm. Did you get? So, but and when he did the other song, I think he did another remix with um V. She's also like, she's also one mm -hmm. housemate that came out from the house too. That mm. one did very well. But the songs he sang by himself, mm. I don't know, but. Those ones they did not just fly. Everyone was like, "What was going on?" What was yeah. Before you guys, he stopped singing, and now I don't even think he's like busy anything anymore. I, I think Lekon has talent, too, if that's the case. He has some talent, mm. you know. And then, as regards the advice to give to um, Big Brother winners that come out mm. and venture into music, I would want to think that you shouldn't rush, totally rush, mm. by the time. Um, go on that platform if you have someone to take you. Like mm. the chocolate cities, um, the likes of uh, babies and the rest. If yeah. they take you, because at the end of the day, you also have to have talent to convince them before they take you, you mm. know. So, but the platform gives you that little way to be able to get access to some yeah. of these people. Yeah. So, start small, drop, as uh, Katuna mentioned, drop EP, drop a tape, drop something, you know, drop singles mm. by your time. Don't want, don't try and take all that money because. That resources is available. You take it and you shoot a video. You know how much to shoot a video costs. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then you want to work with a big producer. Yes, it's good to work with a big, big producer because yeah. they have the name and you know they're already in it, so they yeah. can give you the kind of sound that you know that can enter the market. But yeah. besides that, the relationships that you build that your platform can give you, harness it well, enjoy the relationship, build it well, mm -hmm. and use it to climb the ladders. But don't take everything and put into the music because the music will consume it. I've heard of different labels that, you know, put in 300 million, 200 million. And trust me, if I mention some of the artists that they put out or that they promoted, rather, you wouldn't know their name. And I'm not Are kidding you. you. Yeah, but I will not mention so what, those names. Million so what is Back to the point. What, 60 million to Back to the point. That? You know? wow. And then again, wild. the music industry. Is it's wild. Mean, it's very wild. It's wild. You know, very wild. And there are a lot of frauds there, just like every other industry in Nigeria. It's wild. Wow. It's wild. So they'll eat you up. If, if you show, you know, especially when you come out of the Big Brother house and they know that you have a lot of money. money. Hmm. When you meet anybody, the first thing is they will ask for money now. Even yeah. though you have to, they will ask for money. Because they know you have I think, money. I think you know. one other thing they can also consider, besides even movies and music, could be mm -hmm. the whole branding, advertisement, endorsement kind of thing. That could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them, some work. of them get it. That's what keeps some of them. Yeah, right so yeah. I wouldn't blame anyone really. Sorry, but I wouldn't blame anyone who, because the music business is tough. And mm -hmm. as I said, you can have the talent. We've just established here that if a Lacon has the talent, let's keep white money here. So, but we, we, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. It's just it's what tough. it is. The music industry yeah. is tough. Yeah. So I, I, I think someday we'll like to hear their stories, the and mistakes uh, they think they've yeah. made, yeah. you know, and what happened to them. I think that will help us better. Okay, so for the latest BB Nigeria winner now, Ken mm. Ray, would you advise him? Because he's also a musician and I heard he said that he's diving into that industry mm. too. So would you advise him to actually invest that money in the music industry? Or? Yeah. You can invest some of it. Mm. So, for example, I don't know how much 
do we I have think six? Hundred. So it's hundred million. million. Forty for a car. I think sixty million. Too. So sixty like cash. Cash. Yes. Yeah, you can do ten. You can mm. do ten. Ten going to be enough. It will never be enough. Sixty That's just, can't be you, enough. Sir. Sixty can be enough. So, so just try with the ten, as much as you can. The small, small things. What your um, your platform, your your brand can get you. Try and use it. Mm. Try and build relationships that can help you more than what the money can do. You know, those are what can help you because that money is changed in that industry. The industry will consume it. Mm. So just use a little of that money and the rest invest it. Try and find how the money can multiply, even though the prevailing time is difficult for you. you know, but at least if you can find a way that that money can be secured and can multiply as backup, then you can use just a small part of it to, you know, whatever you can do, meet people that can help you with their venues to shoot a video. Yeah. Just, yeah, but don't sink in that money. That money will sink. Well, it will sink in that industry. For me, for, I, I don't know, I've not heard about him musically. Mm. So, he's not so good. Yeah, I, no, I'm not, I won't conclude that. No, 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 no. I won't conclude that he's not so good. I've not heard, I've not heard about him. Musically, uh, but same here. Yeah. I think he, um, he needs good advisors. Yeah. yeah, I think his management should actually think and ponder hard on it on what they want to do. Mm-hmm. I still think that with sixty million now, a lot of endorsements can come in. He's going to rake in more cash, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but he needs to be careful. Mm-hmm. Well, as he said, people have sent in three hundred million and they don't have any. They've not gotten anything out of it. Yeah. So I think he needs to sit down, let them have a proper discussion. Don't rush. I know what direction. Yeah. Oh, music, music. Yeah. Oh, Tilo. What's the law? The money will go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you think? Do you think now this era, this uh, how things are going? You think it's still advisable mm-hmm. to invest in the Nigerian music industry? The Nigerian music industry is this still how it used to be? Is it worth investing? your money into especially for bbn um, winners okay yeah the the nigerian music industry was not what it used to be let's establish that because mm-hmm. one thing i i like now or one thing i enjoy seeing now is we're beginning to have different genre of music yeah yeah, yeah. you know you, you could hardly sit down and think that we'll be having uh, an alter sound music you know it's nice you know back then the kind of music we knew was blah 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 the afro beats the afro pops yeah. and then hip-hop we felt oh the mode nines and the rugged men's and but rugged man sorry and but now you could have you could pick you know even gospel music is thriving yeah. you know so the industry is growing yeah. and take it or leave it if you know the right place to invest then you make it, it's a very viable industry because there's still a lot of room to grow. You know, if you look at um, yeah. Don Jazzy, for example, it, I look at the guy like a demigod because it seems like he just has this whole business thing on lockdown. Mm. Yes. You know, so yes. you, you had more hits, you changed more hits, you revamped it to, yeah. to Maven, and you're still, still thriving. So, I yes, I think the industry... It's very, very valuable to invest in. But also, you need to know where to put your money and how to go about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, um, before you invest in that industry, you need to have a passion for the music. Mm-hmm. If you invest in that industry to make money. <laughs> but yeah, so I think you need to have that passion so that when things, when things don't work, mm-hmm. you need that passion to keep it moving. To, yeah. to keep it pushed, you know, to keep pushing because it's easy to be distracted when things don't work. It's easy to stop, you know, it's easy to stop. It's so quick to stop. And then you, because you go through the platform, okay, so uh, this is now a little aside, you know, from the major question, but like that of the big brother. When you go through that platform, you're out, you have the feeling that people know you, yeah. you know, there's you fame. The fame. Yeah, yeah, so you might not necessarily. The walking, <laughs> you know, about you can't necessarily go to the mall easily yeah. like you would want to. You need people yeah. to help you to do all those things yeah. and all that. That thing can get to your head, yes. and you'll be very delusional up until you fall. Finish. You know, you the yeah. Month. So <laughs> yes, when you leave the platform, humble yourself. 
Yeah. And um, okay. buy their time. But for the music industry, as regards um, investing in the music industry, just like investing in anywhere, it's a risk. You know, it's, it's risky investing in anywhere. You know, so before you just dive into the industry for anybody, do proper research. Do proper research. But I think that there's more money to be made in the industry now yeah. than it was mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before there was just a basic. Before, if you, if you want to make success in in the music industry, you need to go and meet Alaba. You know, yeah. To go and meet radio stations, you yeah. play your songs and yeah. all that. It, it has changed find now. Like five TikTokers yes. And yeah. Give them your and sound. it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, you know, it happened to CK. Yeah, exactly. It, it happened that to love some of the yeah. Yes. It became viral. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok. So you can yeah. be strategic about some things, you know, and yeah. you can make progress. So just proper research, and be very careful the way you throw the money around because yeah. there are a lot of frauds in the industry. Well, guys, you've heard it from them, and this could bring us to the end of this podcast section. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to drop a comment, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chigara Ejemeta.